Well, it's the end of England's winter work. How have you seen it, Ness? What will they take out of it all? It's been a long one. Well, I've been glued to my TV, and I know it's not about me or the viewer. It, it, it is, in fact. That, you know, that's what we're trying to produce. We're trying to produce interesting cricket, and that's what we've had all winter. It's been absolutely fantastic, whether it be in Sri Lanka and winning there, Joe Root's batting, mm. Broad and Anderson's bowling in Sri Lanka, the Test Series, was there a dull day in that? The 2020 Series, was there a dull day? No, and now the 50 Over Series. It's been absolutely brilliant from start to finish. And I know results have gone against England, but you've got to remember, India is a blooming hard place to tour. It's a really hard place to tour. And I just hope every England cricketer has learnt something from this tour, taken something from it to become a better cricketer. The wider scheme of things, we, we obviously hope the vaccine's rolled out and it all works. The boys are now going into a bubble, the Indian cricketers, along with the likes of Ben Stokes, Owen Morgan. The bubble life, how hard is it? Is it sustainable to keep doing this? I mean, it mentally must be an enormous challenge for such a, a long period of time. How are the boys standing up to that? Yeah, it is tricky, but, you know, it doesn't really do you much good sort of moaning publicly about it. you just got to speak to, you know, keeping close contact with your family. I think it's the guys who have got young kids at home that it's the hardest on because someone like Ben Stokes left home late January and doesn't get home again now till early June, which is a, a good old stint. Um, but, you know, we're very lucky to do what we do and it's, it's exceptional circumstances at the moment. We're, we're hopeful that, you know, we... We don't have bubbles in the long foreseeable future. There might be a few this, this summer, we're not sure. But, you know, I think Nass made a really good point. You've got credit to the players like to, to live in a hotel room for this amount of time, both Indian and English players. India were in Australia prior to, to this tour. To play the sort of entertaining cricket that they have, to give us fans back home like, at the entertainment we've seen, it's awesome. The, mm. the skill level's been great. Obviously, England will be disappointed to have lost both the ODI and, and T20 series in a, in a close... Uh, in both sort of going to a decider. But, you know, you can't doubt the skill level and the commitment that every player has shown.